think my landscape painting really started when I was a child, growing up in North Dorset, going out watercolour painting with my father. And my mother used to do figurative watercolours, and so my technique is very much a combination of my father's more rational approach, my mother's more romantic approach. I like to internalise the landscape before I paint it. For instance, Egerton Hill, which is a project I'm about to start, and I'll go out there regularly whenever the light is interesting, just to really explore the area. So I take a lot of photographs, I do a lot of walking, I do some sketching, um, and sort of waiting for those special moments, really, just where, where the light will come through. All my paintings has been particular moments. My um, young tree on Lewiston Hill, that was based on the setting sun in the spring, which sets behind this tree. And whenever the light was great, I'd just go up there and I'd wait for these moments and I'd photograph them and do plein air paintings. I started as a plein air painter and I think it's absolutely crucial that landscape painters, figurative painters actually do have that experience of working from life. But I really want to do a painting that isn't that rushed. Often, after I've taken many, many photographs, I'll collage elements that I like, I'll move elements, I'll lighten them, darken. I might completely change the sky of a painting. I might combine several different days, or even weeks. Whatever makes a composition that has a feeling that I, I want it to have. One of the reasons why my paintings take a long time to make is they're all built up with glazes of paint. Very often with my paintings, when I'm trying to get an idea for how the paint's going to be, it will be quite a complicated scene and, and gradually I'll, I'll remove things that aren't essential or which even actually do disrupt the painting. I actually held off painting the landscape for a while because I sort of knew the level I'd want to take it to and it wasn't really viable for me to sort of, you know, spend months on a single painting, which is what I do now. I went to London in the 90s and I became an abstract painter there. I had a few years of exploring different ideas and I was coming back from London and just as I was coming over the Bride Valley there was this beautiful mist. I realised in order to actually capture that feeling I'd have to spend quite a lot of time on these paintings. I actually sold one of these pieces, I remember, at an exhibition and the buyer then commissioned the first of my cinematic landscape paintings and I've never looked back as I say. The cinematic is to do with my love of cinema really. It's a fascinating medium because it's so involving for the viewer and that is exactly what I want to do with my paintings. Um, we've all had moments where we've stood somewhere and we've seen a view that has just moved us so deeply and it might only go on for a minute or two or shorter and it's those moments that I'm trying to paint.